I'm just trying to imagine what would follow Catholics. Um, well, first of all, we have to see it off. Um, you know what? And part of it is a system that we become so reliant on. Um, and reliant on the unfairness of the fact that the profit of man's labor um, isn't the man, it, it doesn't go to the man at all. That it goes to somebody so, again, so detached from the place where that profit is made. And they really don't understand or don't want to understand um, how reliant people became on it. Um, back to the farm. Now I don't think that's going to happen. Although at some point, you know, world population is going to expand and we can't live by eating computer chips. That's the problem. Um, I'm not sure how we could follow it. Um, the return to communal values. Um, a return to a dependence on ourselves rather than the big boss. Um, maybe just a simpler way of life. But, you know, we get so caught up and so bought in to the commercialism of the modern world that it is almost impossible for people to go back to the simple life, to subsistence farming. Um, to, you know, even to, you know, um, probably simple housing, um, things that are made to suit our needs rather than our wants. And, uh, yeah. But I think before it happens, there's going to be a big price to pay. If it eventually does happen, yeah, there will be. Um, a wrecking and a and a ruination of the system that was there before. But again, you know, we take away, when we take that away, we take away as well some kind of structure of organization um, that probably would, could be adapted to help a simpler life. But you know, I mean, the fact that, again, something like 85% um, of, of the world's wealth rests with Again, you know, a very, very small percentage of people and corporations. And the answer isn't to take all that wealth and, and evenly dis distribute it um, throughout um, the, the community or the, or the nation. Because the skills aren't there to manage and um, to build a sustainable economy out of what's left. Um, I don't know what comes after capitalism. Um, I know probably it will, it will still be here when I go. Um, and I'd love to think that my children would have the answer to that. Um, but I know, you know, today is the day that matters to me. And um, whatever system we have, if I like it or if I don't like it, I have to either buy into it or choose to work with it. Or choose to fight against it. And, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think a lot of the way I would probably fight against it, but still with the realization that, you know, that I have to survive, I have to be able to sustain myself, to sustain my family. Um, you know, that's, that's interesting.